Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Look who I have in the kitchen today. This My guy. husband, Thomas. He is super excited because we are going to be making appetizers for you guys for the holidays and Christmas coming up. Okay, this is kind of a two-fold video because while I put him to work, <laughs> I am going to be answering questions that have come up several times on my comments so we'll be answering some of those for you guys so now that i have over 50,000 subscribers which i want to thank every one of you for whatever reason you came over be it the instant pot the crock pot my meals desserts which seems to be a lot of you guys okay so we do give a big thank you to all of you thank you Okay, so the first appetizer that we're going to be working with... <laughs> Got bacon in it. Bacon in it. It's going to be a barbecue pineapple bacon bite. If you know me, you know I love pineapple. And we made this one last year and it was so delicious it didn't last long at all. So, we are going to bring you back after we manhandle this bacon. <laughs> To get it open because you know it takes several minutes to get your bacon opened okay so here we go <laughs> just bring out your knife that'll get it open okay here's our setup now Th thomas over here has about six pieces of bacon mm -hmm. that he cut into three sections now we've got pineapple that we just drained into a bowl here now the easiest thing is to get some pineapple slices and then quarter them. So I took a whole pineapple slice and then we just quartered it like that there. And then we've got your favorite barbecue sauce, whatever you want to use. Thomas loves Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby Ray's. And then what you're going to need to do is get some toothpicks. Now I'm just soaking mine in water while we're doing all of this and then you're just going to need a baster. Have a pan ready with some parchment paper to lay those on and then you want to make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, Thomas, you're on. <laughs> what then are you going to do? The first thing you must do is take a piece of pineapple and taste it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. That's not in my recipe, but okay. It should be. <laughs> So what he's gonna do, what are you gonna do? I'm taking the pineapple and the bacon, putting it there. I'm trying to ignore the stares of my beagle because she is trying to stare into my soul because <laughs> she wants some bacon. Take a toothpick, break it. There we go. And then just lay it on your pan and give them some room. Yep. One of the questions that I get asked a lot in the comments is, is my kitchen fake? <laughs> Do I work out of a professional kitchen? Okay. No, it's not a fake kitchen and I do not work out of a professional kitchen, although thank you for thinking I'm a professional, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm just a mom and wife who cooks my family meals from our kitchen. Okay, so another question was what does my family like and dislike in food? Okay, so Thomas here, my husband, he won't eat anything with raisins in it. Ugh, they're disgusting. <laughs> what else do you not like? Peas. Peas. Hate peas. <laughs> I do not eat mushrooms, so um, I like to make mushrooms for them, so I've made stuffed mushrooms, and I do like cream of mushroom because it's all creamed up and it's not the texture of a mushroom, So, and that's what it is right there. 
So as a family, as a whole, we don't really like beans. And when I say beans, I mean like butter beans, yeah. black eyed peas, yeah, can't do them. kidney beans, nope. black beans. No, I can do black. Normally when I do soups and stews and things like that, you don't see beans go in there. And that's just because we don't eat them. Um, my daughter, she's just, she's the pickiest one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll stare at something and go, do I really want to eat that? She got OCD. <laughs> She's, she does. She doesn't like her food all put together. <laughs> Plus, it's a casserole. She'll eat it around like that. the plate. Yeah, she eats around the plate, which drives One me crazy. One thing at a time. <laughs> My son, he's a carbaholic, so anything pasta. pasta, he loves. Okay, the last step for this is to take your favorite barbecue sauce, and we're going to brush them over the bacon and the pineapple. Mmm. Doesn't that sound good already? Okay, while he's doing that, let me answer another question for you guys, and that's, where are we from? <laughs> where are we? Okay, right now we live in Katy, Texas. Great state of Texas. Great state of Texas. Um, Katy is about 10, 15 minutes outside of Houston, Texas. So that's where we're from. Now, <clears throat> That's not where my accent comes from. Y'all have been asking about that too. I grew up in Southern Mississippi. Yeah. And, but I was born in Chicago. Okay. He was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yep. And. But he, I've lived in, in, oh God, all over the place. Oh. I've lived in Ohio. Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, Mustang, Oklahoma, just outside Oklahoma City. The longest I've lived anywhere is uh, Texas, and outside of my stint in the military, um, I've lived in Texas since uh, 1979. We're going to place these in our oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes, and we're looking for these to be what? Crispy. Crispy bacon and, and a sticky sauce. He's got it. We're they, gonna, hmm? They're going to go in my belly. They are, because we're going to come back and he's going to show you that. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Our pineapple barbecue bacon bites. You ready to try one? Sure. All right. Let's go in. Mmm. 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 Wow. That is good. That is really good. Mmm. I love these. Saw how simple that was to make. And she would make them look prettier. <laughs> okay, for our second appetizer, we are going to make pigs in a blanket jalapeno poppers. Two of our favorite appetizers put together as one. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to need some little Smokies, any flavor. Now this is beef flavor. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants in his jalapeno poppers. You're going to need some cream cheese. Fresh jalapenos. We've got six of them here and these will make 12. So keep that in mind. Crescent. You Crescent rolls. Now these are just the original crescent rolls. What count? Eight. Eight count. I seem to be getting my eight and ten mixed up. Mm. <laughs> Some cheddar cheese. Okay, and then we're going to need three onions that we're going to dice up very small. And that's it. So let's go ahead and start building these, and then I'm going to answer some more questions for you guys. What Thomas has going on over here is he has cut the jalapenos lengthwise and taken off the top. And then he is just scraping out the seeds and the membrane. Now, after he does that, he is going to wash his hands very carefully. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with plenty of soap so he doesn't stick his fingers in his eyes. I've after, done it, too. After that. So in a medium bowl, I've just got my half a cup of cream cheese, room temperature. Now, I had just pulled mine out of the refrigerator because I forgot to pull it out earlier. But all I did was stick it in the microwave for about 15 seconds to kind of soften it up. And I've got three green onions in here that we chopped up really fine. Now, I didn't go all the way to the white. We'll use the white for something else, but the green adds a really nice flavor. I've got half a cup of some cheddar cheese. And 
we're just going to add a little bit of salt, probably an eighth of a teaspoon, and a little bit of pepper. And what I'm going to do is just cream this all together. Another question that comes up a lot is, do we eat everything I make? For the most part, yes. It is everything I cook for the videos and that are part of a meal plan that we prepare at the beginning of the week and then shop for. If a dish doesn't work out, it's because it's something that we've tried that we've never made before. Generally, those come from... Pinterest. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have a lot of luck with Pinterest. When I was young, I learned how to cook from my mom, and we made a lot of dishes, and I brought those into my family, and you've seen a lot of them being prepared through my channel. From when she grew up, from her side of the family, and my dad's side of the family, we use a lot of those recipes, and Thomas brings a lot of recipes from his side of the family also. Yeah, we also get recipes from like the friends I had, you know, different cultural backgrounds in the military. The first one you made for me was the hobo, hobo stew. stew. I made him a chicken dish, so. You made me fried chicken. Yep. He wanted fried chicken, so I fried him chicken. And I was halfway kidding, too. I wasn't expecting it. And sure <laughs> enough, there's fried chicken. Yep. New right there. Oh, gotta marry this one. <laughs> Okay, so we went ahead and just washed off the peppers after Thomas deseeded them and took the membrane out and dried them off. And then what he's doing is just taking just a, like a teaspoon or so of this mixture and he's putting it in the center of the pepper. And then he's taking one of these smokies right here, putting that on top and just kind of pushing it into the mixture there. And then he's going to take one of these crescent rolls and he's going to wrap it around it. Now this is the original eight count crescents and you just take one, the triangle, and then all you're going to do is long ways, you're just going to make three strips from that one crescent. So one like that and like that. And then he'll take one of the strips and wrap it around. And then you can cross it back over the other way if you want, if you got too much of it, <laughs> or you could just cut it off. It's crescent roll, no such thing as too much. There you go, just like that. Okay, the next question that gets asked a lot is, what do we eat for the holidays? Now, Thanksgiving is a very traditional holiday for me, which means there has to be a turkey, there has to be doubled eggs, mashed potatoes, corn, rolls, um, stuffing. I like the bread stuffing and the cornbread stuffing. I like cranberry sauce. I like it all. Did I miss anything in there? <laughs> no, not really, except for the fresh stuff like the radishes. Oh, and... yeah. He likes his little vegetable tray for sure. For Christmas... We tend to do more like hors d'oeuvres and things like that. Now, I grew up, since as far back as I can remember, my mom always made these meatballs. And I have a recipe out there, and I also have a video of those meatballs out there also. And hopefully, I'll think about that and put them down there. If not, just search for Swedish meatballs, and that's what we had every Christmas. It had to be on the table. And, but we do like a lot of hors d'oeuvres, like stuffed mushrooms I'll make for them. Uh, we do prosciutto uh, wrapped uh, asparagus. Oh yes. Now a lot of these are in my videos and you can see them down below in the appetizers or for Christmas. Y'all go check all those out down below. Okay, how are you doing down here? Good. He's, he's doing it. He doesn't need me. <laughs> now for New Year's, what we do is Chinese. Yep. <laughs> Always. As far back as since we've been married, we have done Chinese food for New Year's. Okay, we're ready to place these in our oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Keep an eye on these. We want to make sure that these crescents are nice and golden brown. 
Okay, while our jalapeno popper pigs in a blanket are in the oven cooking, we're gonna go ahead now and make a dill sour cream dip. Now in a medium bowl, I just have one cup of sour cream, half a cup of mayonnaise, I've got about three green onions chopped up or diced really small, and to that we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of dill, now this is dried dill, And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of parsley. I'm gonna give this a mix. And then just give it a taste and see if you need to add any more salt or any other kind of flavoring that you wanna add into this dip. He's gonna try this because I do not like jalapenos because they're just a little hot for me, but my kids will enjoy the heck out of these with him, so I'm not worried about that. What do you think? Mmm. Oh my god. Of our jalapeno popper pigs in a blanket. You take two of your favorite appetizers and put them together. These are so freaking good. What time do the kids get home? I know. We're not getting any. They may not. That's a lot. This made 12 and then we made that lovely dipping sauce. What do you think of that dipping sauce? That dipping sauce is really good. Okay, our third appetizer, we are going to make bacon crackers. Doesn't that sound good? It is going to be good. One of our favorites on the holidays, too. You okay. could make bacon shoes and it'd be good to me. <laughs> I love bacon. Bacon anything, right? You're only going to need just a few ingredients, and so we're going to bring you up close and show you what those ingredients are, and then we're going to build this while I answer a few more questions for you guys. Okay, so the first ingredient, we're gonna be using some butter crackers. Now you can use these or you can use Ritz crackers. Now what you wanna do is use a pan that has a big lip on it, and then you're gonna line it with some parchment paper, and then you wanna put like a cooling rack on top of it. Now what Thomas is doing is taking these crackers and he's going to lay them on the cooling rack that's inside of our pan here. Now, when you lay them out, let's make them all like pretty. Here oh we go. my word. <laughs> you need to give them some space. I know where my daughter gets her OCD from. <laughs> okay, so one of the questions that I have been asked is, when am I gonna go live? <laughs> <laughs> We're all laughing at that one. <laughs> I'm too nervous right now to go live, so um, I like doing it the way I do right now. I've thought about it, but it makes me really nervous. But hopefully one day next year, I will hit that live button for you guys. Okay, so the next question is, who films me? My channel was created back in April of 2018, so it's been about two and a half years, and my channel started... Let's see, let's go ahead and get Thomas the next step. So what you want to do at this point is take some bacon, and we've got about six pieces here. We just cut those into three pieces here, and he's going to take one piece and then lay it on top of the cracker. So when my channel was created, my mom was the one videotaping me, my very first video. My kids came up with that idea since I cook a lot, and they're like, why don't you put your, your recipes on YouTube? And I'm like, really? <laughs> right? Nope. I mean, I had no idea. And my husband's like, that is a great idea. So he got me my first camera to do this, which we still use to this day. <laughs> Yeah, it's a cannon. So it's been a ride ever since. Now, my mom has since stopped videoing me because of some health issues, but she's fine. I did a lot of standstill shots and moving the camera around. And then Thomas has come in and he helps do a lot of the videos, the camera work on that when he can. Next step is he's going to take some brown sugar and he's going to put a nice amount of this, and when I say nice amount, a generous amount. <laughs> My generous or your generous? No, so he's just going to take a, a spoon, <laughs> and he's just going to pour some on top of each bacon slice. 
So, since my very first video on YouTube back in April of 2018 to now, I've been developing my channel and also, you know, knowing what y'all are looking for also, which is really funny because that's the way we like to cook and we, we like to eat also. Very simple, easy, and delicious. That's how it runs in this family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how I grew up eating, and that's the kind of recipes I like to find for my family. And when I find recipes, I generally try to change them up a little bit and add what we like into them so that, you know, that's what we eat every day. <laughs> now, my videos are also on Facebook, and I am on Pinterest. I have two cookbooks out there, Volume 1 and Volume 2, and those can be found generally in the description box of my videos, or also you can find them on my recipe blog, www.catherinesplates.com. And when I say recipe blog, that's all it is, you guys. It's not a huge, long story about everything before you find my recipe. It's the recipe, because, you know, it's just a place for people to go to find the recipes and be able to make the food. How are you doing? I think he's doing pretty good. Okay, the next step is he's just gonna take some cracked black pepper or you can even take some cayenne pepper and put that on top of the brown sugar. Mm, can you smell it? I can smell it, it smells good. <laughs> it's nice when Thomas joins me for my videos, even my kids, because you know, it's always good to hand over the, the pepper grinder there and have somebody else grind your pepper for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why you grind my gears? Yes. <laughs> okay. No, I enjoy having my family in my videos with me. It's a lot of fun when it happens. So when I can nab one and pull them in, I like that. There you go. All right. Well, you're the one with the recipe. What do we do now? We're going to place these in the oven at... 350. 350 until the bacon is nice and crisp. And that brown sugar starts to melt. Starts to melt and is nice and bubbly. Okay, so it'll take that long. 15 to 20. I like my bacon nice and crisp. So it all depends on how you like your bacon. So keep an eye on it. I'm not so fancy pants. He's not. He likes his bacon. You know, I can have it crisp. I can have it medium. Right out of the package. No, I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we'll be back and we're going to taste these for you. Okay, we just pulled these out of the oven. Now, I just gave them five more minutes so they can get a little bit more crispy on the bacon part here, and these smell delicious. What you want to do is cool these down completely so you don't burn your mouth off. <laughs> and then Thomas and I are going to come back, and we're going to plate these up and try them for you. Our bacon crackers are ready to go. <laughs> we're going to try one for you. I'm only laughing because we've already tried a few. <laughs> They're so good. We couldn't wait. They are. All right. They you got should, yours? They, yours? they should be illegal. They should be. They are so delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, my God. It's like candy. Oh, my God. Mm. You have to be careful. You could eat yourself sick on these. For sure. All right, mm, a winner on these for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed our Christmas show with our three favorite appetizers and my answers to questions from the comments. So let us know down below in the comments which your favorite was. Was it the pineapple barbecue bacon bites? Was it the jalapeno popper? Pigs in a blanket? Yay! <laughs> Almost lost the other ones. Or was it the bacon crackers? Those were good too. Yeah, they all three were good. Ask questions in the comments. That's totally fine. You know, I'll answer them. We love all 97% of my comments. <laughs> or I can talk about the other three. Anyway, well, Merry Christmas, everyone. Hoping you have a happy new year. And we will see you on my next episode. Bye.